So would you like to say a few words because that has captured the imagination of a lot of people last month. Uh, maybe just explain to us what is it, why should we care, and then we will invite Kenan Shahin. Sure. So gravitational waves are another prediction of um, the theory of general relativity. They happen when two bodies are, um, are swirling around one another. So you have to create a disturbance in the space-time in order for the gravitational waves to form. And then once they form, they propagate at the speed of light. So just like light propagates once it's, once it's formed, gravitational waves propagate. We knew about the existence of gravitational waves from other astronomical observations. Um, however, we hadn't ever directly detected them um, on Earth using detectors, like using man-made detectors. So um, what happened um, on, uh, uh, actually the event took place um, last, last September, September 14th, I think. Um, the first detection of gravitational waves on an Earth-based observatory called LIGO, um, which is a laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory, um, a, an event was recorded that showed the coalescence of two black holes. One is the size of about um, 29 times the mass of our sun, and the other is roughly 36 times the mass of our sun. And they were indeed circling around each other, and by losing gravitational waves, just like the theory predicted, they came closer and closer and eventually merged into one black hole. So it was a very exciting event, um, both because it's, again, a direct detection of an event that we had indirectly uh, inferred before, and because now it opens a new window onto the universe. It's a new way of looking for sources from which we can't see light, but maybe we can just see their gravitational wave emission. So um, it's going to allow us to explore the universe in a, in a whole new avenue. So it's, it's very exciting from that point of view. Thank you. Let's thank all the speakers. <laughs> uh, I'd like